Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And just maybe, look towards the future. 47, it's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47.
Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot.
How are you? Stay for it, isn't it? Right there. That's Marcus Stivus, Providence partner, self entitled and arrogant little worm. He might not look like much, but he's done more damage to the world than you could dream. The fit, my friend. Thanks, sir. Oh, it's just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazi. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now what is his business here? This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about this and come back.
want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood. Crystal. Sir. Sir, you're trespassing. Don't get me wrong, Please, buddy. you need to turn around now. Never meet again. I could get used to a gig like this. Hey there. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. Sir, I will have to pat you down if you want to come through. Security measures. Sorry about this, sir. Won't be a moment. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous train. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you.
What? Hey, you. You dropped something. Have a seat, Mr. Kazee. Looking good today, sir. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. Do you think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer-winning freelance journalist. He's good, and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Restricted area. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me. Upstairs, that is the Royal Highness Omar al Ghazali's private penthouse, am I correct? I heard rumors he has some guests of some significance. Now, I understand you probably signed an NDA, but I may be able to make up for it with cold cash. I'm going to ask you politely to move along. I don't appreciate your line of questioning. Well, I was just curious, but thanks for your time. Number 47, Ingram wanted a photo of him eliminated. Now, personally, I don't care if he's just sleeping, but he needs to look dead.
I was wondering if you could help. Looking good, I man. promise there Looking is something good. in it for you as well. I'm just curious. Do you know who the Royal Highness's guests are upstairs? I have info that there are two with very cryptic names. Sorry, I have no idea. You should talk to security. I just work down here. Okay, thanks. Mr. Lund, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Was it he wanted again? All oh, right, right. This better be good. Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Are you? Let the pros do their job. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture. Yes. Here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Mr. Kazim, please follow me. How are you? Looking good, man. Looking good. Have you seen the view yet? It's quite spectacular. On a clear day, you get a wonderful view of the Arabian Desert. It's a sight to behold, the vastness of it. Back in China, this would never be possible. Because of all the Right this way, Mr. Kazim. Do you like the building? Honestly, this has been it. His I'm Royal Highness's dream. Like I think for even longer down. than I have known him. Well, Everything here team, is completely self-sufficient. Electricity, internet, 
Even water is cleaned and reused. It's the first of its kind on this scale. It was important for him to look to the future. Here we are. Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Mr. Cassie, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. We have Ingram second. right I'll where we right want back. him. Please make yourself 47, you have know what to do. Of you. It's something to behold. Stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, maybe not. I usually have my people talk to people like you. I can imagine. Oh, yes. Uh, take a seat. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. I can imagine. I don't know how much Omar, I mean, the Royal Highness, has told you. But my guess is very little, so let me get straight to the point. My organization has been hit by an unpleasant cancer that can only be removed by cutting it out of the gut. If you get my drift. Yes, I do. Good. This little turd is spreading his vile, toxic cells, and I want him stopped. Brutally. Chemo won't remove him. Only the knife. I have his file here. Arthur Edwards. A sly little devil, if there ever was one. Me and my associates, well, we underestimated the little worm. We want revenge. I think you and I share a common interest. I doubt that. But I want you to make him suffer. This is not a horse that needs to be put out of its misery. This is a rabid dog that needs to be put down. Am I making myself clear, Mr. Kazim? Yes. Consider it done. Good. We're now in business. We are. I'll have Miss Toe send you anything you need. We're done here. Oh, uh, you're nicknamed the Vulture. Why? I find it's best to wait for the perfect kill. I think you'll be perfect for the job. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kazim. I look forward to receiving an update. Safe hunting. Guard! Yes, Mr. Ingram? Please show Mr. Kazim out. Yes, sir. Mr. Kazim, please follow me. Jesus, you need a fucking mint. How are you today? Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked.
Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. Hey, you! Where do you think you're going? Mr. Kazem, Definitely not through you need here. to listen to me. Follow me get and don't get face. sidetracked. Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try.
Sheikh Al Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. calendar function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Damn it. A silent alarm has been checked. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. Sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? Uh, I think I've got it. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. It's me. I thought about what you said. Yeah, I changed my mind. It was an insane idea to start with. Exploding golf ball? I don't want blood on my hand. something. Can you see anything different in the room? Seven guards are heading your way. Be careful.
All you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Andy. Building cameras are now disabled. Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. Cameras are showing a lot of guards up here. They wouldn't suspect one of their own, though. Just keep calm. It's a busy day for him. Surely we can give him a few moments. Do you know what he wants to talk about? No. What's this? Carl? Did you do 
believe it? I certainly did not. I have no idea what's going on. Gentlemen, what's the meaning of this? You... you're the one responsible for all this. Gray, what do you want? Something that has been a long time due. Revenge. Revenge? How banal. You killed Cobb, Nabokov, Caruso, the Washington Twins, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank, and you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. What did we ever do to you anyway? You specifically? Nothing. Providence? Everything. Providence made me, and at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just returning the favor. Providence has ruined the lives of countless people, expecting and facing no consequence for its actions. You take for yourselves and those who support you, and you burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. You're delusional. Exposing us achieved nothing. Not again. Where the hell is that security panel? All right, that's that then. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. 47. Thank you. I'll meet you at the road on the edge of town. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. 
Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough.